This is the Burj Khalifa, the tallest building in the world at 829.8 metres. It's so tall that the air temperature outside at the top is approximately 6 degrees cooler than at ground level. There are 26,000 glass panels covering 174,000 square metres. The aluminium used in the construction is equivalent to five Airbus A380s. It used 330,000 cubic metres of concrete. Steel rebar used for the tower is 31,400 metric tonnes and laid end to end this would extend over a quarter of the way around the world. With 110,000 tonnes of concrete in the base and 192 1.5 metre diameter piles they were driven down over 50 metres into the ground. The building weighs approximately 450,000 tonnes and the construction took 22 million man hours. Let's do this thing. Now the Burj is open to visitors. You can visit floors 124 and 125 for about 50 pounds. However, you can instead pay around 95 pounds and go to a place called At The Top, which is floor 148, which also gives you access to floors 124 and 125. Of course, you can buy VIP tickets and go to the lounge on floors 152, 153 and 154, but that's 195 pound a ticket. Yeah, let's do that. There is, of course, airport level security, which is hardly a surprise at all, really. But it's not long before you're up at the lounge, 585 metres high. The highest lounge in the world, 585.36 metres on the 154th floor. And what a sight awaits you. Now I visited the Grand Canyon and I was absolutely gobsmacked. But the Burj is another wonder of the world. All of Dubai laid out before you in stunning, stunning glory. Just wow. We spent quite some time looking at this amazing view all around the building. Now these tickets were very expensive, but I'll be honest, having visited the lower floors as well, I think it actually is worth paying the extra hundred pounds to go up those extra floors. It made quite a difference. Plus, of course, you get a lot more relaxation. There's less people there and a chance for a nice cup of cappuccino before conducting science experiments, of course. We spent quite a bit of time up there, enjoying a nice drink, having the most gorgeous little sandwiches. And then it was time to make our way down a couple floors to the outside observation deck, which is something, I'll be honest, I was very nervous about, as I am rather scared of heights. This would be quite a test for me. Go now. No, you did really well. Yeah. Okay, so I also bought a clinometer so I can try and measure horizon drop. Unfortunately, the horizon is much too misty or dusty and you can't see an exact horizon. This was the second flat earth test that were washed out. The first one had been trying to film the earth's shadow climbing up the Burj Khalifa. That had also failed due to the level of dust in the air, preventing a nice clean edged shadow. Never mind, I had a third experiment, but we're going to have to go back to the beginning to do that one. So before we go up, we're going to have a look at our barometer and set it. So we got 1012.5 hectopascals at ground level. It's going to be interesting to see what it's like when we're at the top of the bird.
then we change the sky lobby for the second elevator to take us up to 154. has dropped by 64 hectopascals down to 948.5 with no container between atmospheric pressure down there and up here. 